All right, guys, it's Sky here. We're going to be doing a quick video here on how to install and or maintain the save editor file system and the uh, program uh, for the initial setup and if you're replacing an older version, okay? This is not gonna go diving through the program or anything. This is a, a quick initial setup and maintenance, okay? So first of all, if you're new, you are going to make a folder on your desktop and you can call it the No Man's Sky Save Editor folder, okay? I would also make a PC Banks folder if you're gonna be doing some uh, modding and things like that, have these things uh, quick accessible so you can get in and out of them fairly quickly, okay? So the next thing that you're going to want to do is go to github.com forward slash goat fungus forward slash NMS save editor. I love seeing goat fungus, goat fungus. Okay, the link is down there in the description. Go ahead and look for it. You can click on it and get there. All right, now that you're there, you're going to hit this green code button and download the zip folder, okay? Boom, yeah. Once you've downloaded this, you unzip it, all right? unzip everything and then uh drag that into your folder that you have made on your desktop which is right here you can see mine and if you're new boom you got your folder here uh until uh, you you won't see the backups and export it until you open up your uh, save editor and then these folders will be created if you're a older existing player and you've had the folder already all you're going to do is grab these files or the just the executable jar file in the new um, packet that you just downloaded and move it over to your old folder and replace it okay so that way it will be updated and it'll be working for you now for you new people out there now that you've got the save editor on your computer and everything else you need to tell it where to look now um, for Xbox players you need to this is not the video for you guys okay I'll be making another video for you guys um, but your secret is is like uh, they're they're hidden in Windows file system so you need to uh, open up the Windows file systems and look for your games there for the Steam users okay this is going to be in your C drive users whatever your name is whatever you named your computer app data roaming hello games NMS and then you'll see your save editor uh, slots there we can go ahead and maybe take a, a look at it really quickly here um, we can reverse this and go backwards and you can kind of see what's going on here roaming uh, yeah where am I at? I got to back up here. I, I, my, I lost my bearings here. I'm in roaming. Okay, so then you're in Hello Games. The file tree goes a little bit weird here. So you have to, you have to look through and, and um, um, you, know, you have to cycle through and find where you're going through. Obviously, I'm having a hard time. It's going to be the next one. No, Hello Games right there. Uh, we open that NMS, and then you can see that you uh, you can see my Sky Masters uh, saves here. So and then, and then open that up. So your C drive, users, app data, roaming, hello games, NMS, and then it's going to be there. And then once you open that up, you can see all your saves right here. Okay. Underneath this um, is a, uh, is your save files. And when you start using the save editor and um, it'll start gathering uh, backups automatically, it's the most powerful feature of this whole save editor i think is is that in itself so all right guys i hope that was a quick video for you guys to get up and running and or maintain your save editor for the 4.0 uh, the 4.5 update actually I was kind of waiting for another update but I don't think it's going to happen for the save editor so this is Saturday October 22nd 1027 11 a.m. to be exact so you guys uh, enjoy the save editor I think it's uh, stabilized and running we're gonna be going into doing some Xbox stuff and going into some uh, more of the key features of the save editor for you guys later. So hit that like and subscribe. I will see you guys on the next video. Uh, call somebody up and tell me you love them, and I'll see you guys then.